Hi everyone, this is lecture 32 in analog circuits. In this lecture, I will discuss some previous gate problems on the op-amp applications. So, this question came in gate 1990, very simple one. The op-amp of figure shown below has a very poor open loop voltage gain of 45. So, AOL is given as 45, but is otherwise ideal. The gain of the amplifier equals. So, if the up amp is ideal, we can simply say the V out by V in is equal to is it a inverting or non inverting amplifier? It is non inverting amplifier because the input is given to the positive terminal. So, simply it will be 1 plus RF by R1. So, it is what is RF? 8 kilo ohm, R1 is 2 kilo. So, 8 by 2 means 4, 1 plus 4 will be 5. But this is wrong. Why? Because there is a open loop gain is given. So now that means we have to find the closed loop gain. So the closed loop gain is equal to, if you recall, uh, if you recall from the previous lectures, we have solved this uh, one as like this: one plus R F by R one by one plus one plus R F by R one divided by A. So A is the A Y L. So now one plus R F by R one is five by one plus I N five by a is given as 45 so this will come out as 5 by 1 plus 1 by 9 so 45 by 9 plus 1 10 so the closed loop gain is 4.5 so option d is the correct one right so this is the formula we need to remember for closed loop gain in non-inverting configuration next we will solve one more question so it came in gate 1992. Assume that the up amp in figure is ideal. The current I through the 1 kilo ohm resistor is. So we have to find the current through this 1 kilo ohm resistor. Now, so here input current is given 2 milliampere. So we know that the current through this inverting or non-inverting terminal of up amp is 0. So whatever the current is coming 2 milliampere. So it will go through the feedback path. So this is also 2 milliampere. So this 2 milliampere is coming, right? Now we can apply the nodal analysis so that we can find the first what is this voltage. So I am uh, considering as this is V0. So see here by virtual current concept here also we will get 0. Now apply nodal analysis at this node. So V0 by 2 kilo plus so actually 2 milliampere is incoming. So I will take it as minus 2 milli. So this I is also incoming, so I have to assume minus here. See here, V0 by 2 kilo ohm is leaving. This I and this 2 milliampere are entering. Now this is a single equation, but two unknowns are there. So we need one more equation. So where we will get that equation is at this node. So at this node, see 2 milliampere is incoming, minus 2 milliampere plus, see this is 0 volt, 0 minus V0 by 2 kilo ohm is equal to 0. So V0 will be V0 will be see minus V0 by 2 kilo ohm that is going that side. So 2 kilo ohm into 2 milliampere. So minus 4 volt is the V0. So if I substitute here, we will get the I. So I is equal to minus 4 by 2 kilo minus 2 milli. So 2 2 so 2 minus 2 milli minus 2 milli. So we will get 4 milliampere and it is negative minus 4 milliampere is the current flowing through this 1 kilo ohm. Next I will solve this question. This question came in gate 1995. In the given circuit figure, if the voltage inputs V minus and V plus are to be amplified by the same amplification factor, the value of R should be. So we need to find the R. So what is the given is, say if I am considering V minus, so we will get voltage gain. So that voltage gain should be same. When we consider V plus alone. Now, so first we will find the when we consider only V minus. So that means it will become 0. Now it will become simply inverting amplifier. So V naught by V minus is equal to minus 22 kilo by 10 kilo. It will be minus 2.2 equation 1. Now when I consider V plus, what is the voltage gain? For that first we need to find what is this VA? What is this VA? V plus into R by 15 kilo plus R. Then it will become 
non inverting configuration so v naught by v a is equal to 1 plus 22k by 10 that means 2.2 into this value so that is yeah this one 1 plus 2.2 so this will become 3.2 so v naught is equal to 3.2 times of v a what is v a so v plus into r so we will get v plus r by r plus 15 kilo equation 2 now what do you mention in the question the amplification should be same so that means equation 1 is equal to equation 2 but see here so we should take here magnitude okay so mod means we will get positive 2.2 so 2.2 is equal to 3.2 times of r by 15 kilo plus r so if I take here, so 15k into 2.2 will get 33k plus 2.2 r is equal to 3.2 r. So 33 kilo is equal to 3.2 minus 2.2. It will be r. So what is r? r is equal to 33 kilo volts. Right. Next we will see one more question. This question came in gate 1997. The output voltage V0 of the circuit shown in the figure is. So we need to find this V0 here. Now there are two feedbacks. So V0 to negative terminal and V0 to positive terminal also. So we don't require any uh, no concept. So we should uh, stick to this uh, virtual ground concept. Suppose if I assume this is some V, then this voltage also V. Now we will apply node analysis, we will get the answer. Right? Suppose at this node I am doing, so at inverting terminal v minus 2 by 5 kilo plus v minus v naught by 10 kilo is equal to 0 so because this current is 0 so v so k cancel so v by uh, this is 1 by 5 plus 1 by 10 is equal to 2 by 5 plus v naught by 10 so this will be 10 3 by 10 is equal to so 10 4 plus v naught so 10 10 cancel so v will be 4 plus v naught by 3 equation 1 now apply again node analysis here so at non inverting terminal again v by 10 kilo plus v minus v naught by 100 kilo is equal to 0 anyway k k cancel so again if i take v common so 100 is the lcm 11 is equal to v naught by 100 again 100 100 cancel so v naught will be 11 times of v but what is v we got 4 plus v naught by 3 so take v naught common so 1 minus 11 by 3 is equal to 44 by 3 so what is v naught 3 minus 11 minus 8 by 3 is equal to 44 by 3 so what is v naught v naught is equal to minus 44 by 8 volts Right, we can now find the decimal points for 44 by 8 5.5 5 volts so v naught is minus 5.5 5 volts next we will see one more question again we need to find the v naught only so very simple one so by virtual ground concept this is 0 means this is also 0 so 0 minus 1 by r plus 0 minus v naught by r equal to 0 so what is v naught simply minus 1 volt as simple as that so again this question came in gate 2000 assume that the op amp of the figure is ideal that is good if vi is a triangular wave then v naught will be now what is the circuit we have discussed in the previous lecture so if the capacitor is at the input side this is differentiator differentiator right now input is triangular waveform that is something like this so if the, this is a input so if i differentiate this one so what we will get sorry differentiation not integration now very simple so suppose simply consider here up to here so it is like a ramp function yes or no if i differentiate t what i will get constant so that means if I differentiate this we will get something like this what is this 
this is output waveform so it is a square waveform so what is the option square waveform output is the square waveform because it is a differentiator and we are differentiating the triangular waveform suppose sine wave is given if we differentiate sine wave we will get sine wave only right suppose if it is given square wave if we differentiate we will get impulse functions right so once you know the differentiation of different different signals we can easily identify what the output waveform next we will see one more question gate 2001 the inverting of amp shown in the figure has an open loop gain of 100 so AOL is given as 100 the closed loop gain V0 by Vs is so we need to find the closed loop gain so if you remember the formula very good the closed loop gain is equal to it is an inverting amplifier so minus RF by R1 by 1 plus 1 plus RF by R1 by A or AOL so what is RF by R1 minus 10k by 1 so minus 10 by 1 plus 1 plus rf by r1 so 10 by 1 means we'll get a 10 so 1 plus means 11 by 100 so this will come out as minus 1000 by 111 right so this will come out as 1000 divided by triple one nine point double zero nine. so we can take it as minus 11 so this is the closed loop gate after the last question it came in gate 2004 an ideal op amp is an ideal voltage controlled current source voltage controlled voltage source current controlled current source current controlled voltage source to know this we need to draw the internal model or we can say equivalent model of this op amp so this is v1 v2 etc v0 so we i have done already so input side there is a input impedance output side there is a dependent voltage source which will dependent on some gain into input voltage vid or simply vd now tell me what is this amplifier or up amp will be see it depends on the voltage which is the which voltage input voltage so we can say this one is voltage so if the input is voltage input voltage is varying the output voltage also varies so voltage controlled what is this source voltage source only so voltage controlled voltage source ideal of them okay so voltage control voltage source so option b is the correct one so these are some previous gate problems based on the applications of operation amplifier if i did a mistake while solving the problems please let me know so that we can discuss more